Good enough. Over here. Oh shit. Okay. I like this weapon. Oh, I'm stuck. Welcome back, everybody, to Fallout on the Tale of Two Wastelands with the Capital Punishment Mod List. I'm the Bearded OG, and we're going to go to sleep because it's time to level. Let's do it. We sleep soundly. Okay, we have 11 skill points. Um, we're going to... Let's get explosives to, we can get explosives all the way to 40 and guns to 50. Okay, that's good enough. Um, we're going to probably take guns and explosives almost all the way to the max before we start working on other things. And I think lock picking will probably be the next thing we'll, we'll do. Uh, I looked through these before I started the episode and there's three or four that I want, but I think what we're going to get is a shotgun surgeon um, because our... A uh, cause shotgun is already devastating with slugs, and this is going to basically an additional ten points uh, ignore an, an additional ten points of damage threshold. So that's what we're going to do, and then we'll you know keep working towards those other ones as we continue to level. All right, fantastic. So uh, we should be in pretty good shape here. Let's take a look at our stats. Uh, no radiation, no ill effects. We're well rested. Food, water, all that kind of stuff's in really good shape. Um, and I think, let's see here, we should bring uh, a little bit of food and water with us. I usually do, but I must have put it all away. Uh, so let's grab maybe two waters and do I have MREs? What happened to my MREs? I don't remember eating them. I hope I didn't sell them. Oh, no, they're there. Okay. I guess I just didn't go down far enough. Um, we're going to change things up with the weapons just a little bit, too, just for the hell of it. Um, so I have... We're going to keep using um, the Ripper here. I've got... Oh, by the way, I put a mod on this, too. Um, it is... Let's see here. The Carbide Teeth. Uh, so basically increases the damage by uh, 10. All right. And then for... Let's go back up to here. Uh, we're we're going to use Lincoln's Repeater. It doesn't... It's not moddable, but it does 170 DPS, 101 damage per shot with a bonus critical chance. So that's going to be kind of our mid-range and non-armored uh, weapon. Uh, reason non-armored is because it's a 44 and you can't make armor piercing 44. Uh, so I've made hollow point 44 and this weapon will be absolutely devastating against non-armored mid-range targets. Okay, uh, so we're going to try that out. Um, I also fully repaired this 45 auto submachine gun. It does 381 DPS um, and I think I have enough 45s which are all pressure round, high pressure rounds, uh, to, to take this out for a sesh. Um, so it should be it should be pretty devastating too for our, our main automatic weapon. And then I think that's it. Then then we're gonna still of course use the snake lore, our trusty sniper rifle, and our close assault weapon system, H and K shotgun. Um, which actually we don't have any mods for that, uh, so when we do come across them. We should maybe go stop off at Seneca Station and see the military vendor there he, and see if he has any um, mods for that. Because we are going to head north today. That is the plan. All right. Let's look at our quests here. So. Does it. Oh, you know what? I guess that means we can't complete this quest because we killed the. <laughs> we killed the guy that we were supposed to turn it into. So. Never mind. Okay. Um, we're still 
hesitating to uh, turn in Mo Moira's quest because we weren't able to finish the optional part of it. And I'm thinking that maybe we find that somewhere else, not in Rivet City. So we'll just sit on that for now. I have hardly any information at all on these Family Matters quests, and I don't even know why I have two of them. And we need to get our explosives up before we can disarm the bomb in uh, Megaton. These are just the bobblehead quests here. So we don't really have a majorly active quest at the moment, except for finding Dad, of course. But uh, like I had mentioned to you guys, we're not going to... We're going to stay away from the city for a while and just kind of go explore some of the other map. And we'll, you know, we'll definitely go back down there later. But uh, I just want to kind of get out of the city for a bit. All right. So I guess our goal is to go north. Let's take a look at the map here. Uh, I want to go to, to, yeah, the regulator headquarters because that's where we can turn our fingers in. So let's put our marker there. But we're going to stop off at Seneca and, uh, like I said, see that... Uh, that vendor and just see what kind of mods he has well just see whatever he has we, we have lots of money now we have over four thousand caps so we are uh, in very good shape monetarily speaking <laughs> i haven't been out this way for a while so i'm sure we have repops on everything there was a whole bunch of raiders on that overpass. But I'm not going to take the time to take them out right now because I want to I want to move further out. I don't want to melee mole rats cuz we have the chance of getting a disease. What's a super mutant, a mutant, mutant doing way out here? I don't, haven't usually see, seen them in this area. Ooh, got a rad scorpion too. All right. I'd rather not waste armor piercing rounds on rad scorpions unless we don't have a choice. We'll take that stuff. Now, I remember from the last time I played this that there is a super mutant that you can actually befriend and he becomes a follower. But I just don't remember the deets of that. And uh, it is curious that there's a super mutant just all by himself wandering. Well, okay. Okay. He's probably a normal hostile one if he's fighting one of those little bots. All right. Why are we in danger? Oh, from you. Okay. These guys are so fucking tough. I mean, we wasted the ammo on them. We might as well get the loot. Scrap metal. No, not interested in the rebar club. Okay, let's keep working worth, uh, worth north. Oh, shit. Towards Seneca Station. I'm just going to outrun that. Scorpion. Again, don't want to waste bullets on him. We could stop off at Arafu and just see if uh, what's-his-name has anything for us. Don't really have a reason to go to Big Town at the moment. Oh! That's Hamilton's hideaway. Oh, nice. Okay, so that's the one that... Um, Three dog gave us the, the key. He said it was a weapons cache. It's right close to Seneca too. Oh, perfect! All right, let's just keep following this road. For whatever reason, I missed it on the map. 
when I was looking for it that in the last episode. Have we looted this? It doesn't look like we have. So I won't have left the, most of that stuff behind. I'm not going to take the fission battery. It's heavy as shit. We did loot that first aid box. So maybe some of those things were repops then. Oh shit, you guy. Whew. And yes, I know, it's Yao Guai, but I was a little uh, preoccupied with trying to survive there. <laughs> I have to say, I feel a little safer having this shotgun with slugs and shotgun surgeon. We'll take the smokes and the whiskey. Don't want any of the rest of that shit. Pugilism Illustrated. Okay. Plus two to unarmed. There's somebody running around down there. It looks like a raider. Chase it after something. All right, let's look at the map again. We need to go this way. I see bunch of robots down here. Three of them. Alright. Let's use armor piercing. Says we're in danger from something. We have a Meyer lurk down there. Maybe he was had started chasing us. I don't want to shoot him in the water because I'd like to loot his meat. Oh, is he just gonna stay down in the water? All right, well, let's just remember that he's around. I believe we did come here and loot this place a long time ago, but again, some of this stuff appears to repopulate, so... We may not have had lockpicking high enough for this at the time we came through. Okay, we can't open that. Hopefully these bots will give us uh, some scrap electronics. Don't really have a clear shot on him. Yeah, I shouldn't have taken that shot. That wasn't that wasn't real good. All right, come here, bro. Down with you. Scrap metal. We'll take that. Are we okay? We're still in danger from something. in danger. 
Now what? Mirelurk. This weapon is devastating. I love it. Hamilton's hideaway. There's some scrap electronics. Let's check this place out. All right, Hamilton's hideaway. Uh, I don't know if we're going to have enemies in here or not. We should probably assume that we will. Is that a... Oh, okay. Thought that was maybe something we could loot, but... Take some scrap metal. Seem to get through there. Yeah, let's go left first. Always go left first. Okay, we've got ourselves a rad scorpion. Nothing in there. This appears to be a dead end. Sledgehammer. Dead Wastelander. see somebody in there. That looks like a raider. This is quite the maze. I'm going to leave the Raider armor for now. If not permanently. It's just too heavy. Oh, duck and cover. Nice. We will take all of the full Nuka-Cola bottles. Uh, I didn't mean to grab that.
Can I, uh, no, I don't want that. Activate terminal. Just making sure I get all the rest of the stuff there. Okay, wait a minute. What does this terminal do? Robco Industries. Okay. I'm going to read through this quickly. Pause the screen as needed. All right, pretty brutal. So apparently they made their own makeshift vault instead of using vault tech. Huh, okay. Those guys can't come through the door, can they? I mean, they're scorpions, they shouldn't be able to. Okay, let's do this. Come at me, bras. Jesus, how many of these are there? skittering. Okay. Um, it's pretty damn dark in here, so let's get our night vision goggles on. Oh, those are just rad roaches. Cell door use key. This isn't the ammo cache, is it? I mean, there is some ammo in here, but guns and bullets. Wanda! Oh, okay. We we'll have to see what that is. Let's turn these off. Stealth Boy, Mini Nuke.
Maybe this is the weapons cache. I mean, there's pretty decent amount of stuff in here. I guess that's it. All right, let's take a look at Wanda. Wanda is a five millimeter, 132 DPS assault rifle. Ooh, very steady too. Um, can Wanda be modded? She cannot. Hmm. Bonus crit chance. We've got uh, 381 DPS on our sub auto submachine gun. But we don't have a bonus crit chance, though. All right. Well, it kind of sucks that we can't uh, mod, but I guess it's already modded. I don't have any five. Yeah, I don't have any five millimeter ammo on me. All right. Um, does Wanda have a drum make too? Oh, it does. Look at that. Okay. Well, it's certainly not a bad weapon. I'm going to say that was probably the weapons cache. Maybe. Hard to say for sure. It was definitely was a weapons cache, and it was, oh shit, decent. That sounds like rad roaches. I'm going to take any of that stuff. Some wonder glue and duct tape, and an, uh, I'll take the fission battery for the moment. They're really heavy, though. What is the VW on that? We don't need that. It's 12.5, that's not terrible. Pipe rifle and the armor. Turn that off. All right, I have like no freaking idea where I am now. Bottle cap mine, scrap metal. Wrenches. Okay. Let's 
Scrap electronics, yes. It's got to be one of the rarest crafty materials in this game. And you need it for weapon repair kits. I think we came in that way, right? So there's no more, uh, no other passages out that direction. This place is such a maze. Okay, this is... This is where we came down, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. All right, guys. Um, I, I went back and, and took one more look just to make sure I didn't miss anything, and I don't believe that I did, so I'll probably just cut that part out. Um, so we are finished here. Let's head on out. So we managed to get Wanda, which is a decent weapon, and uh, we might we might take it for a spin and see how we like it. It's uh, its damage isn't particularly impressive, but it's very steady and it's got crit bonus, and it looks like it's already got a built well it does have a built-in uh, reflex sight and a built-in drum magazine, and it looks pretty cool too. Got kind of like almost a little camo uh, look to it, but it does take five five five, or sorry, not five five five, five millimeter, which I have tons of back at the base, but don't have any on me at the moment. So let's head on up to Seneca, uh, which I think is just right up there. Let's look at the map. Yep, and uh, we'll see what the military robot trader guy has, and then after that, we're gonna head over to the. Uh, regulator headquarters to turn our fingers in and kind of see what that's all about. Hey. Good enough. Over here. Oh yeah, shit. Okay. I like this weapon. Oh, I'm stuck. We just shredded those fuckers. I like this weapon. Okay, the other guy in here should be the ghoul. Is, uh, is he dead? Oh, no, he's right there. Barrett, that's right. Okay. I wasn't expecting Talon to be inside. I figured they didn't am ambush us when we came back out. Wow, did you see how we just absolutely annihilated these <laughs> these guys with this 45 auto? Uh, I'm a believer, man. Okay, since we're at the vendor, we're going to just take all of their shit, no matter what it is. Talon Combat Armor Reinforced Mark II. Hmm, we might have to look at that. All right. Barrett, are you still an asshole? The hell you looking at, smoke yep. skin? <laughs> he is. <laughs> okay. Let's limp our way over to the vendor. Yeah, that was interesting that they spawned in here and that they were in that room. So Barrett kind of distracted him for us a bit. I was expecting them to show up pretty soon because we hadn't seen them in a while. Ma'am? Howdy. All right, let's put our selling stuff on. And whilst we're at it, we should probably fix ourselves up to
Okay, so he's got 800 caps. Um, we're going to just hands down take all of his 308s right now without even giving in a second thought. Um, let's take his uh, all of his 45s. And I think that's all we're going to buy from him. Um, ammo-wise. Wow, look at that. That's 1,036 caps worth of shit. He's got a 45 tactical pistol. A burst pistol? I don't know what the hell that is. Paratrooper. Sporting pistol? 44 auto revolver. Gun runners 44 magnum. That bullpup has a bonus crit chance, but I think I have one of those already back at the base anyway. Bullpup marine. Convert 45 submachine gun. That's got the same kind of damage as the one we're currently using. Jesus, man. 382 DPS. Wow. Okay. He's got a lot of weaponry here. My goodness. We have one of those officers mercenary. A field shotgun, mercenary assault shotgun. Um, that's a 12 gauge. Okay. Um, does he have any cause mods? That's really what I wanted to look at. Side saddle. Assault rifle, heavy barrel. Oh, God, look how expensive those things are. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I want all your primers. Well, I want your large pistol and your large rifle primers to be precise. He's got all of the stuff that we need to make repair kits, too. Okay, so that's going to send 1186 caps his way. That's a, that's a lot of money. We're spending a lot of money, but that's what it's for. Okay. Now, let's give him that and that. I'm going to give him the mini nuke. All of this stuff he can have. Police pistol, needler pistol, range master, the assault rifle. Wanda's only worth 39, really? Well, I'm not going to sell it anyway. We'll sell him that. Let's offload, say, four frag grenades. Police baton, all of that stuff. I want to look at this Talon reinforced armor. Um, wow. Okay, that has plus 14 DT. But our Navy combat armor gives us repair and guns. So even though that has... That's got, actually got one point less of damage resistance. Uh, but I don't want to give up the 5 repair and the 10 guns, though. So we're just going to sell all this Talon stuff. The Mark II helmet. Sacrifices one damage resist for an extra damage threshold. But I don't think we can wear the night vision with those either. Okay, we'll give him the pre-war money. The cigarettes. Soda bottle, he can have the whiskey bottle. I'm going to sell the fission battery. And the medical brace and the cigarettes. I don't know what we need these for, so I'm going to hang on to them for now. Perpentine's kind of heavy, he can have that too. Alright, so that ends up with us just... Um, Spending 330 caps in total. 
Which isn't too bad considering we got a bunch of ammo from him. Let's accept that. Okay. Um. Now, if we look... Okay, so our 45 auto submachine gun does 348 DPS. 31 damage per shot. His convert 45 submachine guns is 348 and 29 per shot. So, and that's 30 in, yeah, and that's 30 in, in each magazine. So ours is just a smidge better. So I don't think I'm going to get that. But my goodness, the, the, we just shredded those talent with this. Yeah, I like this weapon, man. We're going to hang on to it for sure. Okay, I think we're done with that. Close. Let's go over to here for a minute. And I want to break down normal 308s. Um, I want to break down normal 44s. Can break down 32s and 357s and 308 hollow points, normal 45s and 45 hollow points. We're not using 10 millimeter rounds. We're not currently using 556s. Uh, break down the 20 gauge normal rounds. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to make armor piercing 308s. That's 55 more of those. Good. We're going to make more uh, 20 gauge slugs, only four more of those. And then I want 45 high pressures, 178 of those, nice. Okay, I think that's good. So we have 195 308s. 75, yeah, that's for Lincoln's gun, and then 576 of these, which is what we need for our 45 auto. It's a beautiful thing. Do I have any food that gives us health? Doesn't look like it. Okay. So let's just take um, that other expired stim back, and that should get us nearly topped off. All right. Very nice. We're going to do a big save here, and then we're going to go head over to the uh, headquarters place to turn in some fingers. I'll see you guys over there. This crazy guy's still here. Great, it's burning. It's burning. It isn't anymore. 
it's all safe. Well, actually, I don't think it is. I don't think the scientists actually fixed the ant problem. We were over here a long time ago trying to get that uh, quantum nuka colas off of there, and I couldn't shoot them off of there. Okay, I hear footsteps. I see somebody walking around down there. I'm pretty sure that's a raider. Yeah, that's definitely a raider. I hope there aren't innocent people in the wasteland that walk around in raider armor. Because they might just get shot in the back of the head. Okay, so I think this is about as far east as we've been. Actually, as far northeast as we've been in this playthrough. And that's our destination right there. Is that a... Yeah, that's another mole hole. Let's get rid of these. We've discovered the Regulator Headquarters. They're raising their own cattle. Alright, let's see what these guys have to say. You should talk to Sonora. Talk to Sonora? Okay. I'm guessing that you've come about the notice. You know, I've heard about you. You have? Hopefully it's all good. You're not bad people from what oh, I understand. Thank you. And the regulators can always use good folks. So what do you say? You read the notice and you're here. So I'm guessing that you want to ride with us. Am I right? I don't mind taking out bad guys. Yeah, sure. We'll be a regulator. Fantastic. Oh, we got a duster. We all wear them. The unrighteous fear the sight of the regulators. Now, as for the rest, here's the only thing we want from you. Hunt down the evil, the wicked, and the villainous. Bring them to justice. Okay, I can do that. Bring us their fingers as proof of the deed. We'll pay you a bounty for each one. Simple, right? Questions? Um, how do you know that any fingers I bring you are actually from bad people? Um, and yeah, what do you do with them? Nothing. Nothing at all. They only serve to mark the fact that justice has been done. Okay, but here again, what if I am actually evil and I kill an innocent person and bring you their finger? How do you know it's it's a bad person? While we trust our members not to take innocent <laughs> lives for okay. profit, they trust us. having a record of the deed is sometimes necessary. While we don't have liars in our midst, occasionally we all embellish a bit okay well i i promise you i will not kill an innocent person and bring you their finger um but you're gonna have to take my word for it because there's no way i can prove it uh anyway okay let's see what do you do we're the regulators we've dedicated our lives to bringing the evil to justice okay and out in the wasteland there's only one brand of justice the gun yep i agree with that um is this all of you guys Oh, no. We're spread all around. The few here just assist me in organizing things here at the headquarters. Okay. There are regulators everywhere. The thing is, if you see them, then they're likely the last thing that you'll see. Wait a minute. Are you saying other regulators will kill me? Okay. Anyway, um, I got fingers. Then you've been busy. Good. Show me what you have. Here, take all of them. So many of the unjust have been dispatched. But so many remain. But ever still, word reaches me that you have gone far beyond what we've asked. Okay. Good deeds should not go unrewarded. And so I will add on a bonus to your normal bounty. 
Nice. Okay. 490 bottle caps for fingers. Nice. Okay, so we get 10 caps per finger, it looks like. Um, all right, cool. Do not let this world taint you. Fantastic, man. I just did. All right, what does this uh, duster do for us? It gives us one charisma and five guns. Does it take the place of our... Oh, yeah, it does. Okay. All right, well, we'll just pretend like we're wearing the duster over the outside of our, our, of our armor. Okay, that's what we'll do. Um, all right. Nice. So we'll just keep collecting bad guy fingers, and we'll bring them over here. Oh, wow, I can take all this stuff? Look at all the knives. Okay. No, I'm not going to... I'm not going to rob my new employers. Uh, unless they have a weapon. Hey, is it okay for me to borrow this weapon repair kit? Sure, that's fine. You earned it. Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, yeah, well... How about some combat ultra streams? Sure, take everything you need. Okay, awesome. Thank you. You should talk to Sonora. You should talk to Sonora. You, you guys have a shit ton of whiskey around here. <laughs> uh, okay. Can I? Oh, nice. I can sit here and, and sleep and rest here too. Then, if I need to. You should uh, talk to regulator Sonora. wanted terminal. Okay. Uh, acquire wanted contract. Wanted. Fugitive to receive wasteland justice. We are the law. This fugitive... What fugitive? This fugitive and, uh, fugitive and his gang have been located at the specified location on your pit boy. Track down and eliminate the criminals and bring back proof of your deeds for payment and reputation gain. You may keep any spoils of combat that you find in the outlaw's hideout. Wait. Oh, okay. So that okay, so that's how we get our contracts. Nice. This this is like New Vegas bounties. This is going to be fun. I like doing this extra stuff. Power line tint. Okay, let's go to quests. Regular contract. Show location. Oh, that's not very far from here. Well, no, it's a, it's a little ways. We wanted to go check these places out anyway. Existing wanted contract cancel status report defensive menu reset contract location. I guess so we can go do it again. Select reward ammo. Oh, nice. So we can get ammo as a reward. I love that. Settings menu? Minus one. I don't know what that means. Let's not screw with it. Okay, cool. What's our status report? We're level 12. We have a thousand karma. Hot damn. We haven't done any contracts for them yet, though. You should talk to Sonora. I already did. Thank you. Okay, nice. So we are now a bounty hunter, ladies and gentlemen. We, I mean, we've already been been fighting the good fight anyways, you know, as Three Dog would say. But, uh... Ooh, I think we need that to help us in our bounty hunting. And, the, and they got... Okay, good. They got a reloading bench and everything. Okay. I'm not going to loot all, all of this stuff. We might take it as needed because... You should talk to Sonora. We're part of the club now, so, you know, they're it's there to support us as needed. May your powder stay dry. May your powder stay dry, too. Thank you. This is awesome. Okay. Very cool. All right, guys. I think what we're going to do is wrap up the episode here. This is a good stopping point. Uh, the plan for the next episode is going to be for us to... Uh, we're going to go check out Canterbury Commons. We're going to go check out Temple of the Union, which I think has slavers. 
And then we'll do our first bounty at the power line tent and then maybe explore kind of the northeast part of the map as a part of all of that, depending upon how our time goes, of course. But that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.